What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and by the looks of it, you'd like to learn more about the hard drive on your motherboard, so let's check it out. Now, the hard drive we have here is a SATA hard drive, and we can tell that because we have our SATA cable, and it's what fits in right here to plug that guy in. Then on our motherboard, we have our SATA slot right here. And we go, bloop, plug that in, plug that in. Bada bing, bada boom. And as well as SATA and hard drives, we also have IDE. And IDE is simply a slightly older style of connecting your hard drive to your motherboard. That's why we only have really one slot on our computer. Now, the hard drive is where all of our hard data is stored on the computer because when your computer's off, a lot of this data gets lost. Like I was talking about earlier, the hard drive we have here is a spinning disk magnetic style. Now, now there's another style of hard drive out there called a solid state drive. This is simply where there are no moving parts on the hard drive. It's an up and coming type of hard drive that's going to be pretty much dominating the market in maybe a couple years. Now, inside this case, we can mount a hard drive in quite a few places like here, 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 or here, or here. And for instance, we have six SATA slots and one IDE slot. So we've got quite a bit of space to put a hard drive. And all the hard drive does is simply information through the hard drive to the motherboard. Now when we're talking about hard drives, there's one other thing you should know, and that's simply, you can connect your hard drives in a few different manners. Now, one of these is RAID. And a RAID array is simply where you have it connected to write data or read data in a different manner between multiple hard drives. So let's say for instance, I wanted to do RAID 0 which is where I'll have a second hard drive anywhere in here, have it connected, and my computer will read and write to both simultaneously. And this makes for a pretty fast read-write system, but it also means if one of your hard drives goes down, the other one is completely useless because their data simply works intertwined, where you can read and write to both really fast, but we have uh, one bit and the other bit. Now while we're talking about hard drives, I'd like to talk about another thing, that's the heat. Because your hard drive, a spinning disk, will actually take up some heat. And you want to give it a little bit of airflow. So, like I have here, I have a lot of open bays. And I simply just have this one set where we have a little bit of space above it, a little bit of space below it. Alright, now remember, just click on one of the items on the motherboard to learn more information about that item. And like always guys, if you have a request from me, just send it on over to requests at mahalo.com.